This video is about some of the more advanced features of the Nordic Semiconductor Power Profiler app. In this demo we are using the Power Profiler Kit 2, but the features are also available for the original Power Profiler Kit. There are some differences in support for the two kits, but we'll get back to that later. If you're watching this video, you have probably already seen the Getting Started Guide. If you haven't seen it, we recommend checking that out before watching this video. A link is in the video description. The functionality shown in this video is relevant for version 3.1.0 or later of the Power Profiler app. Today, we'll demonstrate a couple of new features of the Power Profiler app. If you're familiar with an older version of this app, you'll notice there's now two windows to select from. The first window when you open the app is the data logger. This window corresponds greatly to the Power Profiler window in earlier versions of the app. The second window is the real time window. We'll talk about that one later. For this demonstration, I'm using the PPK2 in source meter mode, in which the PPK2 both provides power and measures the current going through the device under test. The functionality works just as well in ampere meter mode, like shown in the getting started guide. You're free to use whatever mode you want, but if you want to use the source meter mode, make sure to change the output voltage to a level suitable for your device under test before enabling power output. In my case, 3 volts is fine for NRF 5340DK. In ampere meter mode, power output is enabled by default. As you can see, the sampling rate of the PPK2 is now adjustable, from the maximum 100,000 samples per second in decadic increments down to only one sample per second. This allows you to sample data continuously for up to 500 days before hitting the buffer limit. This also works on the original PPK, but the options for sampling frequencies are a bit different. You can freely select the sampling rate and time period most suitable to your logging needs. This will not affect the accuracy of your measurements, as the base sampling rate always runs at 100,000 Hz, but is averaged and then downsampled to the lower resolutions. The digital channels have been updated with support for logging for up to 30 seconds at a time. This feature is available on the PPK2 only. By selecting the real-time window, you allow the PPK2 to operate more as an oscilloscope. Here you first select the time window you want to capture in length, and then the trigger level, the current threshold at which you want the trigger to happen. In single mode you capture just a single trigger, in continuous mode it keeps triggering every time the threshold is met until you stop it manually. By default, the trigger point is shown in the middle of your selected window for the PPK2. This is adjustable with the slider on the top of the graph. The slider on the left hand side of the graph adjusts the trigger level. For the original PPK, the trigger event is always at the far left side and not adjustable. In addition to exporting your data in a CSV format, both windows now have an option for saving data from your sessions in a format that can be reloaded into the Power Profiler app and show up like it did when capturing it. Easily saving screenshots of what is currently shown in the graph is also possible with the Save Screenshot button below. If you have any questions about the Power Profiler Kit 2 or any of our other products, visit devzone.nordicsemi.com to get in contact with our excellent team of application engineers. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.